so I was working on something and then yesterday I woke up and I got news that the Polish host that we've been with for months for continuous uptime had received a letter from both their, I'm just going to get right into it, from both their upstream Cogent, which is one of the largest ISPs in the entire world. It's basically a tier one, even though it doesn't technically qualify for a tier one. They're everywhere. Um, and their data center, Equinix, Equinix Warsaw in particular, uh, had both told them that they are to uh, immediately disconnect the Kiwi Farms. Um, and they did. And now uh, the other host that we had, which was not in Equinix, but did use Cogent as an upstream, has been blocked from the global internet uh, for, by Cogent. So now if you try to connect to the kiwifarms.net, you probably, depending on where you're at and what your connection is and what your ISP is, you may not be able to connect. Now uh, you can connect through Tor over ClearNet um, always. And if you have a VPN, you might be able to find a uh, a location probably the closer to Poland you use the more likely you are to find a connection to it um, but basically the tier 1 ISP has once again decided to block uh, the Kiwi farms um, this is the the backbone of the internet the one of the most important companies in the entire world a 25 year uh, company founded by um, what's his name some fucking asshole um, I don't know, but it's been around since 1999, and uh, I know for a fact that the CEO of this company is personally trying to shut down the site, because when I, um, when, when Zayo dropped us over a year ago now, I reached out to one of the only other ISPs at my data center to try and get a connection, and one of that, the ISP that I was told is basically uh, completely unscrupulous, uh, without morals was one of the most annoying aggressive advertisers in the in the industry had uh, a company that had been removed from Aaron or reprimanded by Aaron because they had been using who is information to send out unsolicited marketing emails had been booted from from tech conventions because they were using mark uh, that is like aggressive marketing within the convention space basically one of the worst ISPs out there um, I contacted them thinking, surely uh, such a rat wretched, terrible company will allow the Kiwi Farms on their network. Uh, the marketing guy was all about it. And uh, after a week of talking to him, he basically came back and said, I don't know what the issue is, um, but the CEO is directly shutting down this deal. And when I try to figure out what's happening, the higher ups and management basically just tell me don't even don't even look into it don't don't ask questions don't do anything so a full year later um after enjoying a good amount of uptime through an isp that really doesn't give a fuck uh suddenly cogent is sending out emails demanding that the kiwi forums be taken down citing specific urls um that it alleges are child pornography and revenge pornography um, the video that they are alleging is child pornography is a 15 year old watching a Chris Chan video that he uploaded to the forum and also to YouTube. It's still available on YouTube, but for some reason, um, I don't know if you remember the Washington Post article, the guy named Clay, his real name is Sean. He sends in, apparently he sends in like, um, these complaints on behalf of Liz Fong Jones now, because I guess the other trannies have been fired and now the... The man that's not like a, a tranny is the only one left in his discord that's still doing this shit for him. Um, he has like whittled down his reports. I've seen them over time to include, oh my God, they said this and then they said this and then they said this. And then also there's this nudity, nudity on the site. And now it's just like a list. Like this is Anisa Joma's tits. This is um, some retarded woman's tits that she posted voluntarily to the internet. Here's a fat kid watching a shock video. This is child pornography. And that's what he says. And the ISPs will use that as justification to censor the internet. Um, so the situation now is that Cogent has blocked for the first time, because usually what they do is they, um, I I've announced my IPs, but because uh, Liz Fung Jones is suing um, for those IPs in Australia, I don't use them anymore. And also because they... Uh, have been blocked so thoroughly there's no point but this is the first time i've seen other people's ips being blocked instead of my own um there's a one of the polish companies that's still left uh they're the only ip that's for the a records 
and um, if you try to connect and your route would have to go through Cogent, uh, it's getting blocked. And that's the first thing that's happened to somebody else's IP space um, after a threat from, from Cogent. So Cogent has once again expanded the realm of censorship. It's no longer um, if 1776 Solutions is broadcasting an IP address through your space, we'll block those IPs from being broadcasted. It's now, if you're hosting the Kiwi Farms on your IP space, we will directly and personally intervene and block you and we'll also complain to your data center and get your data center to potentially throw you out from their, their space, like physically remove your hardware and send it back to you. So um, needless to say, if you are listening and you are in the industry and you have deals with Cogent, um, if you're not in the position to cancel, I would ask that you complain to whomever, your sales rep, your manager. You have a whole NOC escalation chain. Uh, find the highest person on your escalation chain and start complaining. And if they say, well, it's the Kiwi Farms, blah, 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 just say, you don't give a fuck. And if you do have the option to change host, change host. Um, like, the only tier one ISP that I know of that is not actively fucking with the Kiwi Farms is NTT, NTT Global or NTT North America. Uh, it's a Japanese com The Japanese part of it is apparently um, in, the, in the Asia Pacific region um, and China. They do, uh, they will block, block us, but NTT Global does not. Um, but Hurricane Electric's blocked us, Cogent's blocked us. Um, Cogent's super aggressive. Hurricane Electric doesn't let me broadcast directly, but it will transfer between different hosts. So Hurricane is like doesn't want anything to do with us but they will trick like they won't actively go out of their way to block uh, black holes like cogent will and it's just like um and in the past uh lumen and layer three it's in company uh they've also done it. it's just like it's literally crazy because once again like you would think if there was an urgent issue with network abuse or some kind of illegal content and i i, I posted um on this thread um, every post that is being reported as illegal content and you can go through it yourself now I, I've actually censored it I've made a note for all these posts just out of curiosity to see what happens what they like what they use to justify censorship there's now a um a posting this post is censored because of tier one ISPs um, I will I will work on this system over time uh, to see what happens but uh, that's what you'll get finding those and there just to go over them real quick so you know what's happening uh it breaks down into four categories commercial pornography this is all anisa doma this is not revenge pornography she sells these i'm completely within my right to to criticize this uh voluntary pornography which is um elaine miller who carved my names into her thighs and published that and then christian fucking a blow-up doll was posted by chris directly onto his own twitter and that was archived and uh, Sean thinks that that is revenge pornography for some reason, and Cogent seems to agree. And then there are leaks. So there was um, the rooster teeth leaks where the guy cheating on his wife had his nudes leaked by his wife, um, which became a, a massive controversy. That's also revenge pornography, apparently. Um, then there is uh, perhaps the only, arguably the only actual revenge pornography, which is where um, the in the ass napkins thread, where Aid Zero and um, uh, Idiot had their breakup in public, and so he just started dumping nudes of her one at a time in the thread to say like. Uh, don't stop talking about me and that became like an issue in the courts but I never received a court order to take down anything calling it revenge pornography so my position has always been I'm not going to censor anything that I don't get a court order to remove um, but apparently Cogent has looked into this matter has taken it very seriously and has came to the determination that is revenge pornography so uh, we don't really need a court system because uh, let me let me find a picture of him actually This guy, um, David Schaefer, uh, who is the CEO and founder of Cogent, this guy actually is is a court system himself. Uh, he he has fully reviewed the context of this. Uh, he has reviewed all possible options about what could be done. 
uh, and David Schaefer has come to the determination by himself that we don't need to actually wait for any kind of, of actual due process. He, he's made the determination on his own, and we can streamline this whole courts thing by just asking him what he thinks. Um, so, and then there is the shoe on head stuff, which was like her, ins uh, her Snapchat got leaked. Uh, this actually isn't even visible without an account. So I don't know, I guess theoretically having any access to anything that anybody on the internet does not want you to have access to is in itself, according to David Schaefer and his infallible process of, uh, considerations for illegal content is not allowed. And then finally, the thing that they, this guy just keeps, like the fucking Sean guy just keeps reporting this as, as uh, child pornography. It is on fucking YouTube. I'll just show you what it is. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm not, lo not logged in. So, oh, I am logged in just so the buttons don't show up because it's broken. Okay, whatever. It's literally just a YouTube video. Um about of, of him like you know the Julie video where a log watches christian fuck a blow-up doll and he goes Julie. it's the exact same thing posted in 2023 it's on fucking youtube you can go find it but that's child pornography according to, to david schaefer and his infallible process of uh looking at internet content and determining on himself without any kind of court order that that's what needs to be done um, so I've just blocked all that shit and I want to see what happens. And what happens is that host team still dropped us, even though I sent them an email saying like, look, everything in this email that Equinix and, um, Cogent are complaining about is blocked. So if that's their issue, then certainly the issue is now resolved and they didn't reply. Uh, they did drop the connection and I haven't heard back. So I've actually tried reaching out to Cogent. Cogent doesn't reply to my emails. There, th this is the most maddening thing of all. Like this would, like, if I was not such a stoic hero, such a glorious person, I would uh, fucking lose my mind because there is something so insidious, so indescribably malicious and maddening, and having all this shit happen and play out completely behind closed doors for fucking years this has been going on where i wake up and some shit happened that i had no conversation in uh without my knowledge which was apparently being discussed for days or weeks before it happened and i just wake up and i get the email that i'm fucked uh with cloudflare in particular i didn't even get an email I did not get an email from fucking anybody about what happened until I got an email a week later saying, uh, here's the transfer codes for your domains. So Matthew Prince wrote two articles about my website and didn't have the audacity to ask me for input on either of them. It's like, imagine, it, it, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, imagine that there are thousands of people talking about you. Um, around the world, writing articles about you, writing, uh about what you've what you do for a living and you have no conversation with any of that and the few people who do ask for your opinion are fucking journalists who are going to take you know five paragraphs of you eloquently executing your rationality and w what your what your uh motives are and how you feel about things, and then pulling out one line to try and make you look like a murderer who just goes around with an ax butchering trannies all fucking day. Like, it, it's it's so bizarre to, um, and this is definitely part of, like, why Liz, because Liz Fong Jones is a rapist who's been credibly accused of rape. Um, I think that that loss of agency and not having, like, control over what's happening around you is like sexually arousing to to liz like because liz is sexually attracted to like bdsm power play shit and rape um i think that his idea is like oh i can make it so that this guy doesn't have control over um like fundamental rights and uh to to you know free expression on the internet and that's like a like a, a dick hardening it, it, well his dick is cut off um, unfortunately, Liz Fong Jones's penis was surgically removed, and there are blog posts explaining how much pain he's in when he has to dilate the ever-closing flesh hole that he's created for himself. But if he did have a penis, it would swell with blood uh, and arousal for the uh, the the uh, agency plays that he tries to to go through. 
by uh, censoring shit from the internet. But yeah, it's it's like it's crazy. Um, it's it's genuinely fucking maddening that just like how often it it always plays out like this too. It's always some big ass company that makes billions of dollars a year is going to make a decision that impacts tens of thousands of people and they're not even going to talk to you about it until they pull the plug if you're lucky if you're lucky you might get a glimpse at some of that back uh back room conversation that's happening but they don't even but they, that's an accident if you get a glimpse of what they're actually saying or what they're complaining about that's not intentional they didn't they intend for that to happen exactly like with zayo um blake willis a friend of Liz Fong Jones in Paris, who used to work for Zayo but no longer does for some reason, can't imagine why, um, decided to uh, unilaterally uh, lodge through the complaint department as a 20-year senior network architect in the in the company um, to have me removed. And the fact that I was CC'd into these emails where he was outlining that, look, they have a Wikipedia page that says they're a bad site, so we got to remove them from our network, right? That thing, that was an accident. I wasn't supposed to actually see that. It's, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't mean to go on for, about it for too long, but I have to vent, like, at some point. Um, so... As far as like moving forward, it's, it's, um, it's just like, I, I can just, I can just keep finding new shit constantly because my, my hope is that I'm just going to keep doing this and they're going to have to keep fucking with other companies over and over again. Um, and they're, they're going to have to pay, you know, thousands of dollars a month for an entire abuse department dedicated to finding the Kiwi farms and handling complaints about them. I'm just going to do that forever. Um, <laughs> because there's, there's still nothing stopping me from just launch. Because these VPS things are instant deploy. I just go to a random website. I pay $10 in Bitcoin. And then I have a VPS. You know what I do? I install a proxy, a TP, TCP proxy that doesn't have to have certificates. It doesn't have to have anything installed onto it besides HA proxy. And then I do a TCP proxy to my actual servers, which are in different data centers. And then they collect, then they actually um, unwrap the, the sessions and shit for me. And that way, the only servers that they know about are like the front ends that I can just replace on a moment's notice too. And I can just keep doing this literally forever. I can do this like it takes the time that it, even if the company does not want me on their service, the time that it takes for them to find out that my A records have changed, send in a complaint, have um, the abuse department receive the complaint, and then have the NOC department action the complaint and censor the content is like a full day. And, um, I can do this for $20 on basically anywhere. And it takes me literally less than like 10 minutes to set it up. Especially like if the, the deployment is really streamlined, um, I can just launch a VPS with an SSH key, log in, install HA proxy and point it at the right server. Um, like l literally less than 10 minutes and it just works. I can do this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Um, well, I finally figured it out. Well, my dude, see, this is, this is the thing. Like people who are, who are like, oh, you should just like use fast flag. So you should just like be a nuisance and just like, um, constantly jump between hosts forever. Like the issue with that is that I shouldn't have to because my website's legal and I'm going to press the issue as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to dig my fingers into Kojin's eyes forever because I have a right to use the internet because my content is legal. The tactic that I employ of digging my fucking fingers into Kojin's eyes is not that um, I just don't know the alternative is that I could just use fast flux or some shit 
or I could just use uh, to demand people use uh, Tor to connect to the site. It's that I have a right to use the internet and host legal materials and any fucking buddy who is going to get in my way of doing that will be named and shamed. I will personally pull up the picture of the man responsible for this and I will show the world that this is David Schaefer. He's a 25 year veteran of the industry and he's a fucking insipid coward who's trying to censor the internet because for some reason, despite being a, a humble ISP provider, he seems to think that he's judge, jury, and executioner. And he should not be in that position of power. He should be forced to sell his shares. He should be in poverty. He should be sucking dick on the street to make ends meet. I'm not lost as to how I can um, just like constantly change A records or whatever the fuck. Like I understand that's how that works. There's a, a point to um, digging in as hard as possible because I'm in the fucking right. And I will prove that I'm in the right, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.